Hey y'all. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave those comments down below. Like below. How many of our kids still do this? Scratch that. Welcome to the channel. It's bad as red. Ain't a little bit. Hey y'all. Look who's back. What's your name? It's me. Me who? Mad. Pew. Fake ass Prince Charming. Yeah, aka Prince Charming, <laughs> the baddies. Boy, we are back with another interesting video, guys. You Very already know. Interesting. Fire, flames, explosion. How you know? You already know we strictly do it for the people, babe. So who? So if you I got a problem that, if she high. got a problem that, if I got a problem that, if our bald head ass grandmama's got a problem that, because it is my grandmama, grandmama that's bald head. Don't talk about my grandmama. Y'all gonna have to say that with the people, because um, look, him over here doing strictly for who? <laughs> the people. Madam Buddha. <laughs> that's why you're not matching. I don't care. And without further ado. And without further ado. Is this still recording? Yeah, it just cuts off. You you sad because you don't see yourself. You don't see yourself. So he don't know it's how you It's okay. Look. You look good. It's okay. You're all right. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we are back with an interesting video. Um, This video here is not a highly requested video, but it's highly requested. <laughs> because y'all been asking. Because y'all have been asking about Matt. And you know, we're real friends. Like, we ain't them type of friends that's just going to be like, oh, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? You got to let that friend go through the trials and tribulations of life. You know how our mama tried to keep us mm -hmm. from doing stuff? Because this this the mama right here. This the mama that that called it out, baby. Okay? Mama said, this going to happen, that going to happen, this going to happen, and you going to be right back here. Son said, I'm a grown-ass man. I got this. I got this. Son come to the daddy and be like, well, I think I'ma just take this journey and da, da, da. and the daddy like, go ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. Go. Cause one thing about it, we'll never want anybody or any of our friends to think we don't want you to pursue your happiness or whatever love you think is there. All right, so go ahead and let I'ma let Shabaka and um Mama <laughs> take over. Cause I really was saying bad laughing. Cause I already knew. Yeah, no. Okay, I did. So, man, you want somebody want to tell the people where you've been? Hmm. What's up, child? You said it so, already. Okay. But anyways, so I was in a relationship, you know, with someone I've been known from, you know, back home, and I thought it would work out and work itself out. But I later, you know, over time, I tried to accept certain things. I would probably try to say, you know, but, um, <laughs> I'm high as fuck. <laughs> but no, like seriously. Have um, we been knowing this person that you're talking to? How long yeah. we've been knowing them? Since the greens, Since, you would yeah. say? So Since what that'd be about? Fort Lauderdale. That's like what? five years ago. No, that's four. six, four years ago, about four, four five years ago. Oh, four, four years ago. Yeah. Okay. No, about five. Yeah, I was gonna say you moved in the Greens in fifteen, 17? sixteen. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. yeah. So it's been about five years, y'all. So we've been on this same person, right? Mm -hmm. You believe this person really was all for you, yeah, in like, love with you? Y'all was gonna, you know? I really make thought this it. person was like for me and all that and this that and the third but i later found out i mean i later found out that's basically <laughs> not the case it's the fault <laughs> that's not the case you later because i didn't want i don't know i and later found out certain certain qualities that he possessed i couldn't I can't get with. So, did you not know of these qualities back and forth a lot of them when 
we initially was real mad and ready to go to war with our friend about what a person was doing to our friend? Some of them. But not when you, like, be with somebody every day. And mm. interact with them every day. Oh, our brain is cute as hell. Period. So, Mom, what do you no, like no, to say? <laughs> No, because G is, you did call it out. Like, for one, one thing, so I know y'all, one thing about a little bit, she do call out a lot of stuff. Like, you can ask Willie. She called out at least four of the songs that he was going to sing when he was on American Idol. And he was like, oh, my God, boo, you should be a prophet. No. You know he in the church, so that's why he said. But for real, though, she did call it out. Like, is this a moment of what a little bit told you so? Did you ever feel like that? I mean, yeah. Most definitely. Okay. A little bit. Well, you guys, you know, it's always warning before destruction. And he done had plenty of warnings and destructions. So I'm like, you know, I'm coming from a, you know how it went this time and what it came down to. Why would you want to do it again? Like, I just don't understand the purpose of steady trying to lust after a person because it's not love. Because when a person loves you, they show you that they love you. They're gonna make time to show you. They're gonna their their actions alone is, is gonna show I love you. And if their actions is not showing I love you, and I just wanna you know get up under you, then that's how I'm gonna treat you. So that's what I was basically going off of. I'm like, you not making this situation make sense. But since you gotta learn it on your own, you gonna learn it on your own, and I'm gonna be there. And I'm not well, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be there, but I'm not gonna have anything to say about it go do whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want to do and that's what it, it did end up it coming down to be <laughs> like that's what it ended up coming down to because it's like a, i can't i don't want you to feel like i'm trying to control your life i don't want you to feel like i'm trying to tell you what to do even if i am trying to tell you what to do at some point i gotta let up and just let you go ahead and just keep running yourself into a wall but i'm not gonna sit here and keep sticking around for it to be honest with you, like I'm not, I'm not that type of friend. I don't, I don't care what nobody say. I'm not, the, I'm not the person that want to sit there and watch a person run their head into the wall three million times, and then on the four hundred million time, now you want to be like, you know what, you've been making. No, I, 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 I don't care for it. But you so know, it's like a, you know, you got to go out there. You got to learn that lesson on your own. You go have to, you have to figure it out because it's like, you know, a lot of things was said, a lot of things was meant, you know, and. You know it is what it is. Hopefully, this is a situation where you actually—it's re it's a real lesson that's mm -hmm. like it's a real lesson we versus, it was last time. versus right. it being like something like oh well that just didn't work out because a lot of people do leave situations where girl that one just didn't work out the next one will be better and it's like no where do you have time to figure out what's and who is the real problem. And not trying to make an excuse so like, for sus. I really feel like sus, even though sus did have warning before destruction in Fort Lauderdale and then came up here and had another warning before destruction, I feel like sus thought it to be different because they moved into the same space. Mm -hmm. Because it turned into them living together versus how it was, you know, with us just being in our own separate place or what have you but sometimes like you said you know what go ahead because that's what you're gonna need in order for but you to even know. with even with it living even before you that. was living even before living in the same place there was still disrespect so yeah, it's like why right. even move somewhere with somebody where there's all you have hope. there's automatically disrespect mm -hmm. you really think you finna disrespect me on the outside then i'm finna come live with you, you and have then have hope. to be under a roof to where i'm really getting disrespected and i ain't got nobody to run to like that's just me though. Like that's I said, you, but like I say, you got those who also have. Learn. You also oh, no. have those who have hope within the relationship. Just like you got those wives that stick with their husbands that cheat on them several times because they just wanna. They want their husband to either get it or we're gonna go to counseling to make things work. So that hope shit also do play a part because we don't know what they talk about on the phone. We don't know how y'all already know how these dudes can manipulate situations and get in our head space and make us feel one way when it's really gonna turn out to be my real way and who I really am as a person. But if you already show who you really you already show who you really was as a person, I why do that person gotta keep coming out to show That's you? That's what I say. That's hope. just like sitting right <laughs> here and you be and you get you get punched one time, you like, oh, okay, you get punched again right right then and there. And it's like, oh, okay, then they be like, oh, I ain't gonna do it no more. And two seconds later, you done got DDT'd again. It's like, 
well, yeah, I got to come you out be to like, what it's going to take. It. And what like it took you, was them going, getting into the same space. And now you see how. But to be honest really with y'all, as a person. to be honest with y'all, people in relationships say they be done. I don't believe until I see it. Yeah, so we don't been here with Matt before. So it's like, I don't believe stuff till I see it. You can sit here and talk so in your mouth, say you done, say you this, say you that. Okay. You you probably upset right now, mm -hmm. but guess what? When he get the text in that phone saying what you want to hear, doing the things that you want to do, it's easy to say mm mm right now because you're mad. But yeah, no, I like you ain't it's like when people phone. get the text in and saying the right stuff that you want to hear, and now you texting them back telling you telling them they know why you mad at them. They know why you mad at them, but guess what they do? They're doing this to get you back in. So once you're back in, guess what? It's who who you think you gonna chuck the deuces on again? That's how it goes. That's why when people get in relationships, and when I see how my friend is in a relationship, I figure out how we finna roll from that. If you know I see that your relationship is bringing something in between me and you, and I done said it over and over again, and I keep saying that this is a problem, this is a problem, and you choose who you choose, you better deal Go with that. that list. You deal with that because I don't, I don't. I done mm. said everything, and it's not fair to me to see it and for people or for people to even be like, oh well. You're supposed to be a friend. So are you friend? Go to friendship go two ways, not one way. I ain't doing nothing that going one way. No, we're gonna do this thing both ways. It's, mm -hmm. It goes both ways when it comes to being a friend. So it's like, like I said, I'm not finna see here and watch you crash Bandicoot. So how do you feel now that you crash Bandicoot in? Mm -hmm. Again and again. No, but like seriously. And, and, and that these two women are still sitting right here that you always calling. When it's a situation like this, yet again, we are here. How do you feel? Because I ain't never asked this before. I feel like it's most definitely a lesson learned. A lesson learned, most definitely. Now I know something that I've been feeling like I wanted to know for a very long time since I met the person. So it's most definitely a lesson learned. But what I'm glad about situations like this and is I can when finally it finally move on. When it comes to Matt in situations like this, we are able to like, you know, he is one of the friends you can talk about it with. Like you ain't gotta worry about, you know, how can I say it? Like stuff going like how most people go to social media, how most people mm -hmm. go to other people telling everybody. I can't respect the, the fact that our whatever it is that we do, we when we go back and forth, it do stay, stay between, between us. us. Like he don't, and it's no hard feelings. Like we'll argue right now, and five minutes later he'll come in the room like, okay, cause what we need your money. <laughs> and I, I really do like that. It's mm -hmm. like no, no tension. And I, I, that is what I really like the most. Cause you know a lot of people arguing, there'd be so much tension. People mm -hmm. be like, okay, I need a few days, a few weeks to. No, we can actually go back and forth, and it can, it, it can always come out to, okay, you're not listening. Mm -hmm. I'm just through with it. That's just like when y'all was asking us about man, y'all seen us. We say, child, man, with his man. Y'all know how I go. Want to be laid up with your man every day. And y'all want to move in because y'all just so in love. I think I threw a little That's shade. That's how we was. You know, a little bit probably did throw a little shade. Cause I think I did. I, <laughs> it's think, like, I, don't, I don't know. know. But I just know that we're not going to see it be like, <laughs> Child, man, man, gone. He chose the left to go be with a dude. He don't want to be out. He don't want to be around his no mother. No. Mm -mm. It ain't going to never be that because what if that relationship would have worked? You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if you would have elevated, prevailed, and it wouldn't have been those parting words that were said to you? Because the fact that that person thought that we were out of the picture, it mm -hmm. was who you finna turn to now that you doing this. And you think who you got? It? You get what I'm saying? It's like But a, it's also... It go, it, that's also reverse too because what if we really was out of the picture and you didn't have nobody to turn yeah, to yeah that's true that's true but because who we are you knew we were going to stay in the picture that's understandable but I want to hear the is, answer of what if we wasn't yeah, there what was, for you what to, to have nobody to turn to like what would you have done in this moment before you arrived to the house what would you have done I already mm -hmm. know what he would have did I know the first place he would have went what's the only place he would have went that, no, I'm saying if the people, house. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If oh, you yeah. wouldn't have had nowhere to come at on this end, oh, that is what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, nobody linked to us, no, like, none of that. If, like I you, didn't know nobody. Yeah, no, yeah. Besides us, and you already know our people are done with you. What would you have done? 
Because this is how friendship get ruined over relationships when it comes to uh, uh, somebody being with their man versus a friendship. This is how a lot of them get ruined. So, and a lot of people do be wanting to know these answers as well. So, like, what would you have done? No, no, I can't honestly say. So why put yourself in the I don't know situation when it comes to a friend or a friendship or somebody like why even put yourself in that situation like what makes you be like okay well I could do my friend wrong because I'm in love with this man or are you not looking at it like that because you you you're you're so I would never look at it like that like I'm doing my friend wrong or not like to get into detail yeah yeah no So how do you think of it? I never thought of it like that. So how do you think of it? I thought of it, it was like, okay, maybe I could balance friendship and relationship. And once you saw that you couldn't. It was like, damn, but let me try this and let me see if it worked. Not like experimenting, cause you know I've been new to person, but it's like, let me see. So it's like let a, me finally. Do I'm gonna give you my all, and if it comes out that I have nothing, I just have nothing. So it's like a risk. You took yeah. a risk. Mm -hmm. I took a yeah, chance. Yeah, he most definitely took a risk. We know that. He most definitely took a risk. I took a risk. Yeah. He took the risk that no one should take because we can't get into detail because that's not how yeah. we're set up. But you, you, all of us know what's up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He claimed he finna start a YouTube channel, y'all. He claimed he finna he finna just do his thing. Maybe he'll tell y'all on the story time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it comes to it and what what the parting words of that person said. Because honestly, it's like you just you know, you know, you know me. I be I was already ready. I was like, ah, Pooh finna laugh. I tell him Pooh, don't call me. I said, no, don't call me, call Pooh. Cause you know, with me, once the queen have spoke. Once the wife have spoke, that is that. If she don't like you, I hate you. <laughs> you utterly disgust me. You do. So at the end of the day, it's like a, well, you already know my choice if she not said what she said, so there ain't no need to come over here. But for me, being who I am, I'm going to keep in touch because you in another state that I know it ain't no family and friends here besides us. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I'm going to make sure you always know that phone can ring on both ends. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And even if you got to crash here and then get on the road and go back home to Florida, you know that you have somewhere you can do that at. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to be a really out there in the cold world like that. That is not how I'm set up. Right. And you can ask who I was saying that all the time. And it's crazy and that, that you even came around that. because Willie just asked me Willie the other really day. Just said yesterday. Willie just asked me Willie just asked me yesterday. Willie yesterday. said, so Pooh, you really through it, Matt? Like, you done? And I said, yeah, I'm done with him. Like, it'll have to be life or death and look, for, me to, for me to go back around him or for me to be back in, into communication with him. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I talk back to him. And it ain't death. You clearly see his life and he in, it, it got there <laughs> me. And, and I mean, like, within, but I wake up, this way. but I wake up this morning, and it's like, and you hear that, not, not. But I feel like y'all been new, I wanted to come back. You know from the messages that you were sending, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, and when you was offered to come back, you said no. Mm -hmm. So you have to realize, me, as your friend, because, and I'm going to take Red out of this, because I knew you first. Right. You, you round because of me. Right. You were, you was my friend. I woke up, walked down there every day to your auntie house. That was me and you, me, you, and Tubby, actually. So to see how you let one person come in between all three of those friendships and the way you spoke to us, the way you talked to us, and the way you took up for him, and this is the one that's doing you wrong. We're the one that's showing you love. So it's, it, it was, it's a very hurtful feeling, but at the end of the day, I still don't want to see somebody who I know I once said that's my friend in no messed up situation. So now it's really like a juggle. Now it's like, damn, you you, you gotta bite your, you done bit your tongue. You done saying something that you really, you know, you really ain't mean. Like you done sat here and you done said all of this and now look. But you also was speaking out of hurt because like you said, that, that really was your friend. But what I be saying is a lot of things don't have to be said if we would just stop and just think for a second and think about how we make other people around us feel. 
and that's, how that's, you would make your friend feel if a lot of people just stop and just be like okay how did, how this person gonna feel if i really do this or take people feelings into consideration that's it and that's a major part in friendship and that's something that i was like he ain't taking into consideration so i'm not gonna do it either i'm gonna be just as nasty as he is you yeah. know so it's like you know thank god for me because baby <laughs> That was finna be some sardines and whipped cream mixed together. And that's not good. That's okay. Man, that made my stomach I'm just hurt. glad that we able to be in a space to where we Top are grown mustard. and we just like this. But I don't want to get more into it because it can get a lot deeper. I just, we just, I just rather, I wanted to do this video for the channel because I need people to understand that this is really real life situations People like real life you situations. really have friends that are like this and y'all wonder why they vanish and then pop back up and they don't say anything i'm gonna say something because it's still a learning lesson at the end of the day mm -hmm. and i would never bash you if you were my friend i'm not gonna bash you i'm gonna bash you unless you only if you bash me or if you chilling with a op or if you you cackling you know what i'm saying knowing what we like basically now you laughing but even with that like y'all you know? even with that we learning to not even entertain that because yeah. when we entertain it you bring it up this is mrs ratings i'm mrs ratings as well because i'm married to her so guess what we are the ratings exactly so it's like as the I like that. I like it. I like it. <laughs> shut up Fuck you bitch. <laughs> But yeah, it's yeah. like the I like did. you we entertain that stuff and, and guess what? Now the people who saw us one type of way and I really just learned this lesson. Y'all a lot of people know what I'm talking about. I really just learned this lesson. Just shut up. Shut up. Let people have it. You know your truth. You know what happened. Cause soon as you say something, the first thing they gonna say is you the backstabber. You been waiting to do this. You been wanting to say this. So mm -hmm. shut up. No matter how much No stuff matter is how much stuff is said, even if the dirt is coming, your truth is gonna hurt your truth is gonna bring so many lies. Like so many lies. And then by you telling the truth, you know when people tell the truth, the way that they say it, the way that they stand on it, and the way that they express it, people take it as oh you're aggressive. Oh you so loud. Oh you always this and you always that. So when you telling the truth, you know, emotions really do get involved to where people don't no longer hear what you're saying, they only seeing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So now it's like nobody cares about that truth. We only care about this because she's making it funny, even though it's a lie. It's funny. Yeah. She's joking. She's cackling about it. It's funny, even though it's a lie. We still, girl, we laughing at you while you still over here trying to prove a point. Just shut up. Leave it alone. Well, I'm glad I laugh you learned about that. It. So try so it like you know. So um, with that girl, being fuck you. <laughs> with that ugly outfit. <laughs> Wait, that means you bought it. I, I, so I, I didn't buy it to, together. But okay. You went and put that on. <laughs> Why did you put on them shoes and I told you what shoes? <laughs> oh, I told you them shoes hurt. Because my socks, you know how you, when your um socks be so no, tight I told you your the feet tennis just, tennis. Your feet just. You know they, what I'm saying? When little yeah. feet spread, they, they just go all the type of Anyways, like y'all. I'm just glad we was able to get to this point. So her feet, like her, her toes go bow leg. Happy. <laughs> Girl, that boy been happy to be back around us. He was wishing on a prayer <laughs> that I wasn't gonna be mad. <laughs> he was wishing on a no, prayer. No, and then look, when I say we was recording, he told me something. I bet they don't even miss me. No, mind you, I'm in there picking out now your clothes for tomorrow. He just comes in there and, and sit on, on the, the floor. floor. I seen him. I told him wrong. I say, and he ain't say nothing. Just sitting I there. Say, like, I ain't finna say that. Mind you, I done saw him look up at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> He is so childish. <laughs> and I miss going back and forth with him in the house, too. Because, baby. Because sister said, why I got to be nice? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all love y'all the most. It's in the room. And I love y'all infinity of infinity. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave your comments down. Motherfucking now. comments down below. Oh, he's cute. Down below. Oh my God, he got his voice. He is cute though. He, he is cute. He, he just caught my eye. He's cute. Why he, you rolling? You see, you see, see, just got out of a relationship. Look at you. You, you, you. No, I'm a kid. Like, like I'm a. You go chill. Know, I'm a chill on that. You gonna chill? You gonna start working out and doing yoga? Yes. <laughs> Pilates. Yes. Oh, we gotta go Zumba? lift. We gotta go lift weights. Yeah. Yes. We gonna take him to work out with no, us. No, I'm gonna lift no fucking weights. <laughs> 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 No. Um, See y'all. See y'all. We can do yoga, yo. <laughs>